itself that uh, that we teach in FMA is um, part of the Filipino martial arts system. It's the first system we, we teach is to coordinate the students with them, familiarize themselves with weapons and empty hands techniques. First thing I want to cover is the actual stick itself. It's actually known as a baston stick. Um, it usually ranges from about uh, 24, 26 to 28, even 30 inches long. It's broken into four parts. You have the bottom part, which is the butt end, also known as the pinion. Uh, you've got the midsection, which is about six inches in, in, in the center, which is mainly used for, for blocking and disarming. Third part is the tip where you use for striking, again, disarming. You also have the tip, which is also used for thrusting. So if we go back to the bottom of the, with the butt itself, the butt's used for striking as such. So if we use this here, this here as, as my object. Okay, so we have a strike. You use it as scraping, so you can actually scrape it, you can book it. The midsection again, useful strike. High strikes, low strikes, mid strikes. The tip again, strike. Upward strikes, downward strikes. And the thrusting. With the stick itself, it comes with a various set of angles. You have angles that come across into like a figure eight motion. So it comes down with strikes, so the strikes actually cutting down. You have a reverse, which upward strikes, and so that strikes actually coming upwards. You have cross body strikes, which comes across the body. They can also be known as a, 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 a fake. You don't have to always hit. Cross across and then come back with a hit. Um, you have whips, the variety of twelves and strikes. Now that's uh, on a single stick. It can also be used as a double stick as well, which is also known as the sinawali. So using both sticks at the same time, we use for double strikes. Sinawali, single strikes, one, two, can be very, very supplied in light. Okay, in this, in this section what we're going to cover is the 12 striking points in the point system itself. There will be a variety of strikes. I'm going to use my, uh, my object here just to indicate the angles and the strikes where they are. We'll presume that the, our, our object here is a, a size of a, of, a, of a human. Okay, so we'll have the high section, the mid section, and the low section. First strike that comes across will be a high. That'll be your left temple, or your left side of the face, the head. Second strike will be your right temple. Third will be your shoulder. It actually comes across. Now the third strike is, can also be a rib, so you can actually go to your, to your rib section. So your strikes can, as I said, one left temple, two right temple, three shoulder or rib. Okay, four is right shoulder or right rib. Five is a thrust, so it's a thrust to the stomach. Six will be a thrust to the left chest. Seven will be a thrust to the right chest. Eight will be a strike down to the right leg. So it's actually going downwards. Now nine will be left leg strike. So you're pretty much going from your hip downwards. All right, on the low strikes. Okay, 10 will be a strike to the face, in this case will be the eye. 
11 will be the right eye and 12 will be the crown. And this will cover the 12 striking points. Sand is number one and two. Okay. If you go from the inside, okay, you draw down like you did, which is very good. Okay. <coughs> number four, same thing will apply again. It's number two, right here, okay. Okay. And number five goes to the horse hands. And across, straight down there. So the hips. Okay. So just turn around, please. Number five, one more time. Number five. Straight in here. Okay. Straight across there. And it's straight in here. Straight in this arm. Do it again, please. Okay. Okay, number six. Block from here. Again, you can block on the inside. You can strike straight into there. Alright. Straight, straight, down, straight, straight down to the legs. Okay. On the outside from here. Boom. Okay. Okay. Next one. Same principle applies. Okay. Normal strikes. Apply it down. You notice that? Movement. Okay. Three in. Here. Right. Okay, four. Straight down. Okay, eight. Okay, my legs over here, please, Jeremy. Okay, eight is here. Okay. okay. So again, eight. Okay, nine. You notice I go for the limb at the moment we're practicing, so we go for the kick. Okay, touch. Boom here. Again. Here. Okay, number ten, the eye. Again, same thing. Again, get on the top. Straight in there. Okay, straight down. Straight down. Up. Okay, 11. Same principle again applies. Do it again. 11. Okay. From here. See that? Then the body goes down. And you pivot. And you pull. Bang. Okay. And 12. Okay. Now remember how I told you with the 12? Control. Okay. If you go too high, what happens? Exactly. This one comes straight for you. Too low, what happens? That's right. So we're working in between the six inches that's in there, right? In the midsection. So again. Can you control that? In there. Bring it over. Bring it over. Okay? So one more time. The secondary it takes it inside. Okay? Again. Secondary. Take control. Okay. Just going to cover the applications of some of the stick work on disarming, striking. Uh, that will also include like uh, uh, thrusting, like the show through the twelve striking points. Uh, Jeremy and is going to do the first two strikes, so we'll cover the first one, number one. Okay, followed by block. Okay. Yeah. Move it down for a second. Yeah. Okay. As that goes down, you notice the hot bubbles. Yeah. Okay. Now for this one, you'll be doing that for strike. You can also do that. This one this one from balance. You put your hand and you roll it over. You notice that? Yeah. That one there is going to come right here. This one. So after the sound, you have one, two, three, four, four. Okay? Yep. Yeah. So if you do number one one more time, I'll just the block. Slide across. And it's the sound. 
I go to you, how should I kill? Huh? Uh oh. Safety. Yep. No. No. Very good. Two, three, four. That's, that's very good. Now we'll do it again. Yep. Very good. Okay, we'll do it again. We'll just do it a couple more times, okay? Yeah. A bit more free, free, free flow now. Okay, very good. And one more. Just make sure that when you bring it over, you bring that right over into the center. Nice little clean circle. Alright? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad, that's very good. Okay. One thing we also got to remember is when we're when we, when we blocking, block, okay, we have our hand a second very behind, behind the stick, and we we'll slide, we actually slide it. So we're controlling that from the first six inches as I explained earlier on the bascom. So it slides across. When you slide across, slight like little grip and twitch it. Okay, so you're moving your wrist like this, you're going like that, but you're pulling at the same time, so it's pulling like this. Just a nice little nudge. So if you do it again, please. Jeremy, block. And down, okay? Try not to push away. Now, which is a backhand strike. You block. Same principle applies in in the pivoting. Okay? And that gets the body off balance. Okay, so if we do it again, we can show from here. Okay, so the block, what we do from here, we go over, and we use a pin mill or the butt. If the butt will come over, and we go in between the hand, the stick, we hook it in there, and we pull out. So if we do it again, just stay in the neutral position and we're going to cut it. We do it one more time and then you can have it over. Okay. And you have it here, over, and this arm. And there you go. Okay, that's the foot. And then you can go on the back end, Jeremy. So just do it a couple of times for me. Yeah. All right, I'll do it gentle or one go strike and do it. Okay, and grab, bring it over, using the pinion. Yeah. Okay, and bring it across. Very good. Okay, make sure you're using it, make sure you, you hook it from under here and you're not just trying to use the stick on its own. Okay? That's very good. Okay. Keep it like a good scrape. You see that? Like a good scrape. If you keep it this way, the other force is just stuck there. Okay? Try it one more time. Make a little difference. Okay. Nice and over. Nice and over. Like a your boat. <laughs> okay? Try it again. Okay, very good. Let's try it one more time and then we'll get to the next one. Very good. So we'll cover one and two again. So I'll let Jeremy to do a strike one for me. Okay, so one, we do a normal block. The safety check. Okay, as we come to the safety check, we we'll roll over. Right. Okay. I do it one more time, but I might change it over this side, so I'm going to do it that way. Okay, now we strike one, the block, and it comes down, and pivot over, and that's it. One, two, three, four, which is an angle you need to be Okay, Jeremy, can you give me strike two, please? Strike two. Um, safety again, bring it over, come across here. Don't try to drag it like this because you actually have the fingers caught in that and it adds like a lock. So by bringing it over across here, you're using your, your, your 
your hammer or your bottom part of your hand and the pinion acts as a nice little lever, like a hook. That comes straight out. You can have a lot of momentum, you have a lot of strength there. Okay? Yeah. Right. So do it to me one more time. Okay, block, over, come. You notice I come over like this? Yeah. You can come across like that if you want. That's fine. As long as the momentum that you're using, yeah. you do yeah? Yeah. What if I do a backhand on you and you can do it for you? Okay. Right. Very good. That covers the first two strikes. Now, the next two strikes is three and four. One and two are head strikes, I should say temple strikes, so anywhere from, from the left temple right down to your shoulder, from here to here, pretty much one and two. That's the area that it covers, okay? Three and four will cover shoulder, shoulder, okay? Three and four also covers rib, rib. Okay. It's also inside body. Okay. So if you can do me a number three. Now number three is a cross body block. It's almost a shoulder strike. Okay, so it's hitting my right shoulder. Now this is one of the most um, common things that happens when we do a block like this. Jeremy? Yeah. Okay. When we block and normal blocks the same as number one. When you brush yourself over a block, okay, you have an outside and you have an inside. Okay? When you brush your hand on the outside of the stick, which means the, the, the end of the sticks as it goes across, right? The strike goes over. Okay? This arming goes over. Okay? Yeah. A three again, we block. Okay? If we're going in from the inside, okay, the straight bottom. You notice that? Yeah. Okay? And with this arm, on the inside, we'll slide your hand, your inside hand, straight in here. Okay? Yeah. Now that's done slowly and sometimes when you do things in a little bit of a slow uh, uh, manner, it doesn't spring out as fast or yeah. things like that. But if you like to do it again and I'll show, you have from here, you notice the hand goes straight in there. Yeah. Okay? I'm straight out. Yeah. Okay? Alright, good. So number three, again. Okay. Now number three can be done the same as number one. What on the outside? Yeah. Okay. Disarm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the basic disarm. Okay. So we do it one more time. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to do a strike three, which is a shoulder strike, okay? And see how you go with, with that. Okay. Right. Um, uh, use the same way, uh, as, uh, number three, the same way as number one. Okay. Good. That's good. That's the basic disarm. Okay. Remember not to bring my hand, you go on your whole way down. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's better. Okay. Now do the second part to the basic of this one, which is pretty much uh, bringing your arm over. So you're snaking your hand over. Okay? But you're bringing it from the inside. And when you block, I block first and then slide from the inside. Okay. 
Okay? Uh, Slow. Slow. Lean like this. Okay? Okay. All right. We'll do it one more time. I have a bit of control with my hand. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. That's good. Okay. We'll do it one more time with me. If you do a number three one more time. Okay. okay. What we do from here, this will slide. You notice that it slides from here. Doesn't always necessarily mean that we have need to snake it. Or, or hook it, okay? It doesn't always necessarily mean we need to do this, okay? It can also mean that this application, for that, that, our hands can go this way. We'll grab the stick and take it in the other direction. You see? So it's all to do with control, yeah. okay? So if you do it one more time, so I'll just explain it one more, all right? From here, we can bring it from here. It becomes the arm. So there's variances, various ways of disarming as well, John. You know? Yeah. So when we're doing that, we can see how we we'll move the when we move um, uh, the body, okay, and the direction. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a number three going to you again. So what I like you to do is. Try one of the, try the two, that go, or try the, some of the ones that we've just done right now, okay? See how you feel with it, all right? We'll just do it a couple of times, and then we'll do number four. So, if you do that, and you put your hand on that, yeah. okay? What this will do is that you, you, you use this part here, the bladed side, okay? Yeah. And force it out. No, no, no. Force it out from here. If you force it out to too low, if you try to push from here, it's not the, the lever is still hanging on there, you see? Yeah. Now, if I'm controlling from the inside, let me just show you over here, so everybody can see. So if you work from down here, it still has control. Now, if you're working at where, where his fingers are lying there, in the direction, because this is what's actually happening, it's doing this. Okay? If we block it from, from where we have a bit of a grip, what actually happens from there, it weakens the grip. You see? Yeah. If I was pushing this way, there's a bit of momentum there, yeah? Yeah. Right? If I'm this way, we still have momentum there, yeah? I have to go all the way almost to the top to release that. Yeah. Right? But we're breaking that down to here this area here. So, even if I was from here, all we're doing is this, because it weakens, it weakens the grip. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Ah. Ah. Now, number four is, again, a shoulder strike, okay? So, we've done one, We've done two, we've done three, now we're doing four. Okay? So, if you do number four to me, now four is the same as number two. Okay? First basic move, okay? Safety. No? And strike. Safety and strike. Now, with number, um, with number two, the blocking that we've done from there is the same. The salmon can be done exactly the same as well. So number number four, right? Grab, grab from the outside or grab from the inside. It will make no difference. Okay? You grab it from the inside, it goes from here. You grab it from the outside, it goes from here. There's not much difference. Preferably, the closer that you have a bit more, there's not too much maneuverability with it, the better. Okay? So as it comes over, same thing applies. Okay? Yep. So do number four. Right? It's the same as number two. Yep. Alright? Okay. So I'll do that, and do that a couple of times. 
and then we'll do the second part to it, all right? So, okay, number four. Driver and across. Very good. We'll do it again. Very good. Now, we'll do number four again and we'll follow it through. Again, number four. Now, with here, what we can do is that we can snake it. What we do is that we place a stick, the tip of the stick, slides in. It's like doing a thrust. Okay? But we're not actually thrusting in. What we're doing is that we're bringing it in here, this angle in here. Now, there's two parts to this. You can use the tip, okay? Oops, sorry. Alright. Again. Or you can start using the mid part, mid section of the stick, which means you're moving inward. Okay? And coming over. Yeah. Now, have you noticed that, that here it's locked on? Yeah. Okay? You notice that what I was saying to you before? Once you weaken that part of the joint, it comes straight out of your hands. Okay? okay. Just think that up here for a sec. We'll do number four one more time. Okay. Now, I use the tip, and the tip comes in. You can see it from the camera there. It slides in from there. As it comes across, you notice that the stick is, is, is backed up by mine. So it's like a lever there. As it comes over, the body turns over. Now, I've pretty much got it locked on there. So here, just bring it straight back up. It's out. So we do it one more time, I do it a little bit faster. Okay, now that's just using uh, this top part here. Now we're going to be using this part here. Okay, yeah. so do it again. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I didn't want to get too far. Uh, we'll do it one more time, we use that part there, yeah. okay, so we block, we in, we disarm, bang, okay? Yeah. Okay, so, that's better. How are you following my stuff? A lot better, take a step forward. Okay, so we'll do it again, so again, it doesn't really matter, it depends on, on, the, on the circumstances at the time. Okay? The circumstances at the time tells you this is the distance that you're going to snap it with or, or release it with. So yeah, if the circumstances mean you can get in closer for whatever reason, you can, or you have that gap to do it, then do it. Okay? Yeah. Alright? So, like I said, it's not, uh, it's not just a, a, a disarming. The tip is also thrusting. So if you do number four, yeah, yeah just do it to me. You have a thrust, you see. Yeah. You go from in here, you see. Alright? Yeah. Uh, or you have a, a straight into lock for the shoulder. Yeah. Okay? So it has its uses, it just doesn't mean it, it, it's used on two, one, and two things. Alright? Yeah. Alright? So I'll do it to you four, and I'm going to do just release, just this arm. Um, okay? Alright. Do a snake. Snake it over, snake it over, and beautiful. Okay? Yeah. Alright, do one more time. Okay. Now I'm not letting this go, I'm actually holding the stick. So I'm actually holding the stick, so you know, don't think of it, you know, it's just yeah, so actually feel that. Yeah. So let's cover the points from one to four. What we'll do is that we'll cover number five, which is a thrust, and the thrust is for the stomach area. And it's 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 work from from start from the belly and it's down from the belly button. Now the thrust, one of the thrust is comprises. Um, Jeremy, if I just ask you just to just to hold yourself like that for a sec, yeah. okay? And just take a step forward, okay? So when the thrust comprises, the thrust is not just thrust. The thrust goes through. Now, the stick doesn't go at a direct and a straight angle, it will go at 
uh, at, at a slight up angle because it's going out that way. Okay? So it's actually going in the butter, in the stomach. When it's retrieved and comes out, there's an actual turn. Okay? So it's the thrust in, right? As it comes out, it's turn. Just a gentle slight turn. So you go in, out. Okay. Yeah. And that is the, the, the number five strike. Now these are uh, facial strikes, facial thrusts. Okay. So it will cause a considerable amount of damage. Okay. okay. The blocking of the thrust in this case. Uh, uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to get ourselves into a horse stand. So what I'll do is I'll do it um, uh, myself first, okay? Now what we do is, the neutral position, okay? Place our feet together. Yeah. We're turning to the side and we're getting into a horse stance. Now we use this one slightly towards us, to our stomachs. We do that because if we put it from here, the chances may be that we may be either too fast for the block, okay, or we're too slow, and you end up with it coming through you. So by bringing the tip towards you, you minimize the time and you use that to push out. You see? So if we do it in, in slide mode, in, in, I have to explain a little bit what I'm trying to say is, as you're coming, what we need is a thrust. Okay? That's what we're doing. So, if you do that, Jeremy, just give me a good thrust. Okay, you notice that Jeremy's used his full weight coming across this way. Now, by doing that, he's, he's, he's committed himself to the thrust. By committing himself, his force is still going that way. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use that to my advantage. So, as Jeremy's coming, I'm sidestepping, going into my horse stance and going right. My step, my baston, okay, at, at, at this point, as this is coming here, I'm reversing it so the tip goes to the bottom. However, I'm not keeping it flat, I'm keeping it at a slight angle. So as this turn is coming, I'm doing this. So therefore, I do this. And I use my secondary to push away. This one doesn't have to move. It's already there. So at the angle. See that? Yeah. Okay. For me, my secondary will say thank you because it goes to safety. In safety, I'm using minimizing, I'm using his force, and his force is coming down, as you can see, he's, he's losing balance. Here I can go for this arm, I can go for a strike. And of course, you, you change your footwork. So if I start to change the footwork around, I go for a disarm striking. Jeremy, please put it in, thank you. From here, okay. Okay, and there's a disarm. Okay, from there we can also change that for strike. And so you see how simple that can become. From here, as we come from the strike, from here, we've got, we've got this arm, we've got what we showed before with the hook, and from here we can do a proper takedown. So, yeah. Yeah. So the application distance. All right. So come to the thrust. Very good. Now control. Pivot the stick. Pull the stick a little bit. The other way. That's it. And take over. Very good. Okay. Remember the normal time that was hot brown. Okay. Alright, good, 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 good. I've got one more to you, just, just one more. Simply checking. 
Okay, so go this way, okay? Now, look from here, you see this? Yeah. Okay? Got that? Yeah. Okay. What you're doing was very good. You need to, you need to put some effort into, it, into that. It's only a little bit, you notice it's only just a twitch. That's enough to keep your body off balance. Yeah. Okay? Very good. Yeah. If you get into pull. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. Let's do it again. Ah, that's a lot better. Yeah. Basically, feel like going down to the ground. Okay. Let's just swap over now, Jeremy. Okay. Yeah. That's it. And there it is. Now that one is the basic design. Yeah. Okay. The other, uh, other ones that we can add to it, but just for the segment, we'll stick with that one. Yeah. Okay. Because it's the basic. First lot, I teach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Other than thrusting that we do thrust to the, to the stomach, you also have thrust to the chest. Okay? Now, we have two thrusts to the chest, and that is six and seven. So, we've already done stroke one, two, three, four, and five. If we carry on and do six, the thrust and the thrust to the chest. Okay? Six. And then there's seven, which drops down at 90 degrees, scoops up, and thrusts in the opposite direction or the opposite side. Okay? Okay, good. Now, if Jeremy would like to do a, 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 a thrust on six for me, the blocking is the same as one. Okay? Yeah. Right. So, do that again. Alright. What we do is that we, we do the same thing as we've done before, Jeremy. Yeah. We have the same thing. Same. And you notice your body's coming that way. Yeah. With the pinion or the butt of the stick, right, you want to circle. Like this. Okay? So, we'll place the stick with the other and we use the, the bottom of the stick and roll it over. By doing that, it weakens the wrist and releases the stick. Yeah. Got it yet for you? Just back, please. Okay. Right. You ready? Okay. There we go. Got through the block. Normal block. The yeah. block is happening. So I've got your momentum coming to me. As that happens, I then rotate it over. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, uh, spin over there and I'll show it one more time. And then we can go to okay, number six. Okay, number six, have a block. Okay, have that snapping down. Yeah. As that comes, there's that that way. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Awesome. So, I've come with a six, safety, and over. Excellent. Do it again. Okay, do it again. Okay, a few bit more, don't throw me away. Uh, control me. You run your away from me. That's good. So comfortable with that? Yeah. Uh, we'll do it one more time? Ah, yes. Very good. Okay. The next one is number seven. Okay. Which will be a thrust. The opposite chest. Yeah. yeah. In this case, it will be your right chest. I'm right handed, so then you're doing your right chest. In this one, it will be on my right chest. Yeah. Okay. Now, the thing with this one, it works the same blocks, all the blocks pretty much work alike. So, when you go for number seven, okay, we block. Now, the tricky thing to this one is, we're going to have our secondary. Our secondary is going to go from the, from the inside like this, okay? Okay, and this looks right, so it becomes a scissors. Okay, and we pull up across. So, we just face this way, we're going to slide angle. So um, you can actually see 
So if you go for number seven, okay, so we block. Okay. Now if you grab it this way, okay, right? Well, the trick is to grab it across this way. And what happens is that it's like a scissors and it's gonna snap itself. So it goes down from here and it just releases itself. So what we're doing is that when we're releasing, let's go for a sec, releasing beyond this way. Okay? This is what we're doing. Alright? So when you come for the thrust, okay, this one here, see? Yeah. Okay? We're doing that. <coughs> so we're separating, so it's the scissors. Yeah. Okay? So go again. Okay? Again, we've got the block. Come over, scissors. Yeah? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay. Remember this one though, is that one comes towards me, it's going to be like that. So when you string it back out, it's going to go that way, and the same with this one. Okay? But a lot of these techniques don't, don't just happen, they take a bit of time. Okay? So um, it's a bit of practice yeah. and you find it a lot drawn. And you also find there's a lot um, uh, a lot of variances as well, there's a lot more things you can do. You can uh, lock the arm, you can you know, yeah. uh, disarm it and, and all sorts of stuff. So um, if you like to just do, do the first seven strikes and I'll be your uh, I'll be just your dummy. And just so we can show the seven strikes we just covered, I'd like to do that gentlemen please. One, two, head strike, shoulder strike, shoulder strike, stomach, Five. stomach, Five. chest, yeah. and seven. So these are the seven points we've covered in this in the segment. And with that, we've covered side downward strikes, or strikes, thrusts. Okay, low thrust, high thrust, okay, and put the chest arms. Alright? Okay. Thank you. Okay, what I'm going to use is, uh, I'm going to use a Chris and Blake to do the 12 striking points. Okay, so in our salute, we're down here, and up. So, what we'll do is I'm going to cover the blade. So from here, we're covering one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now again, we're starting off in our salute. Just so I can show you that um, you can use the, the angles with the blade. Okay. So again, you slash, slash. That's one, two, across the body. Thrust, chest, chest. Now as you slice down, you'll be slicing on the inside of the legs. Okay. So you can inside. And there will be a reverse slices. So they're not coming down as, as such. It's coming this way and this way. Okay? So that's eight and nine. Okay? Ten, again. And um, I, eleven, and slash downwards. You can also use the butt of the knife as a crown strike above. Okay, so far we've covered uh, the single stick baston, we've covered the Chris, and we've covered the blade. We also have what we should cover now is the short stick. It doesn't seem very much, but it can be used very effectively. Yeah. You have a tip, you have a butt. 
the tip can be used exactly the same way. The hitting, backhand. Again, you can use it for locking from the back of the head. And also it can be used for disarm. Later on in the segment, what we'll cover is a bit of disarming and some of the applications involving all these weapons. And these will be part of the um, uh, first section of AFMA, which students will get uh, more fluent in the use. Okay, what I'm going to cover here are six strikes using uh, the stork stick, also known as the dos pintos. Well, in some pronunciation, dos pintos, some is dos pintas, P-U-N-T-A-S. Okay, we are using the, the tip of it as a thrust, so you use it the same as what you have a blade. So we thrust the stomach, solar plexus, chest, Again, chest. So think of it as though it's a blade. Okay. Come back, butt to the side of the temple, or just behind the ear. Thrust again is a backhand comes across the right side of the temple. Again, also the back. These are fatal hits. You also have a crown strike with it. Also known as a downward strike. Downward strike down. That covers the six strikes. Okay. Now with a um, single stick, the dust on, what we've covered so far is just 12 strikes. As I stick with the single stick at the moment, before we go into double stick and sword and dagger, and use the basic drills. Now, as I showed earlier on, we have slicing strikes and torque striking points. But, and just for your own drills, that we get ourselves used to the fact of moving with a single stick straight out to the double stick, we start with the basic drills that we put together in the first drill, which is a single heaven. Now, when we talk about heaven, it means high level. When we talk about mid-range or mid-section, we're talking about from shoulders to the hips. When we talk about earth, it means anything from your hips down to your toes. So pretty much that's all earth. Everything above here is all heaven. Okay? So your, your single heaven, meaning single stick, okay, is pretty much strike hands. So you from with your right side and your right, left side. Now if I was to use the, both the sticks at the same time, just for your own training purposes, which would be a good thing. You have one strike, you have left strike. So right, left, right, left. In other words, right, right. Now that's high level. You can use that same striking in your, in your drills and your training to get your body used to the fact of the movements and the strikes. These strikes can be moved one, two, and three. You can go one, two, three, four, and you can move all the way down to the body. When we talk about heaven and earth, and you're using heaven and earth, it means you're using heaven and using earth as well. And this is what I just did before when I was just going one, two, and going like this. So this is heaven, and that's earth. When we're combining the two together, it's one, two, three, four. Moving on, we have a, a four, uh, sorry, a six strike, heaven and earth. If we just start with the basic at the moment, which is one, two, three, four. Six meaning one, two, three, four, five, six. If you're using the single stick on its own, got one, two, three. Okay. And if you're using it on the opposite side, same thing. One, two, three. Still using single stick. I know I have two in my hands, but I'm using it separately. When we talk about a double sinawali in the drills, 
It means you're using both at the same time. So for that as an example, we do the basic four point star, or your Cinerati, or your figure eight, otherwise known as a figure eight. Meaning figure eight is making a nice clean figure eight. You do the same with your right and your left. When you combine the two as a Cinerati, then they're moving together. So therefore it's known as a double stick. Single, you only use it individually. So in this case, we start off with a basic above our heads and we do a Sinawali, a four point star is what I've known as that, uh, call it as. So we start off with the first one, which is one, two, three, four. Now you notice I'm using heaven strikes, so it makes me striking above the shoulder. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now, when you get a bit more fluent using that motion, you can change your direction of your angle. So you can go one, two, three, four, bring it back, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's high. And then go low, high. Now, in basics, we start above the shoulders until we get ourselves a bit more fluent in the movement. We then go to the next level, which is a bit more uh, advanced, which is placing it underneath your, your arm. It's the same movement, one, two, three, four. It means though when, you when you're doing a transition, you always end up on the opposite side. So if you're starting from the left under right, you'll end up with right under left. So you go one, two, three, four. Okay. When you start with the basic, as uh, I showed earlier on, you finish at the same spot that you started. One, two, three, four. So therefore, you know yourself that you want to get confused in what you're doing. So your flow moves on. Okay, so we just move it from under here, and we just go from our single, uh, a single wali, what is also known as our six strike, also known as our redonda. We don't know the six strike method, which is the left on the right. It can also be done with right on the left. So we'll start with the first lot. High strike again, followed by a high strike again, and a downward strike. There's six strikes, so it's three to each side. One, two, three. So as the redonda, it's actually six strikes as it flows. One, two, three. In Sinawali, basics, one, two, three, four. Left on the right, one, two, three, four. Now, each of those three drills can be done high level, mid range, and earth. See, I see a stick having an earth, right? Six strikes. Again and up. One, two, three, one, two, three. Again. Reverse, one, 
Yourselves a circle, get into a circle, keep going, do not stop the rotation. Very good, Carl. Good, Neil, keep it going. Julia, keep it going. Use your feet, your hips. Move. Back with your partner, facing your partner, continue going what you're doing. using the heaven and earth when we're using the six strokes. Okay? Again. You're moving all of a sudden. However, footwork. So we start using a triangular system with that. Yeah, we always seem to trap ourselves back and we go like this. But if you keep ourselves an open mind, okay, and you have a one, But the idea is to get you your mind thinking that you, you can move, you can be a target. Say so we've got a thrust coming, okay, we go into a horse stance. And you notice that he, he, he's, he's committed to this thrust, yeah, he's committed to it. So allowing the force to come to you, he's come to you, therefore you can change to whatever direction you wish. So if we do it again, we go from here, and then all of a sudden we have a disarm. Okay? That way we can show the students. Okay? Again, we have a disarm, this army is here. This army is there, that's fine. Bang. Okay? Now we're going to go 
what I'll do is I'll use this. So a little bit softer. Again, allow the force to come to you. You see the distance there? Alright. Again. Alright. Again. Alright. He's still committed. come to you. If you start chasing him, that means you're leaning forward. So, if it was thrusting, the guy did this, all the chances are something going in here. You brought that force coming to you. How are you going to block? Yeah? Okay. Again. 